All right, we're gonna be changing the uh, front calipers today on a Honda Civic 2003. And it's a... All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take the tire off. We're gonna start off on the passenger side. It's almost the same thing once you do one, so let me just get to it. Okay, the first thing you do is jack the car up from right there. That's where... Uh... All right, so we're going to uh, take the tire off. If you don't have one of these guns, uh, you have to uh, use a breaker. Uh, before you lift up the, the jet, uh, before you lift up the car, you uh, you get to a, a breaker bar and size 19, and then you just break the tension on the lug nuts. Don't take them all the way out. Just break the tension, and then go ahead and lift it up, and then go ahead and uh, take the lug nuts out. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, take these, uh, take this caliper off, and then, um, so the the way you do that is, uh, these are size uh, 12, so you put it in there like that. Oh, well, it looks like these were already, uh, and maybe that's why the caliper was bad. So, and get you a screwdriver and stick it in here, right there. So you just try to push it back like that. And it comes off. And uh, we don't need new brake pads. These look in good shape. Rotors are good. It's just the caliper that's bad. So. Okay, and the first thing you wanna do, this is your brake line. And you wanna put, you wanna like, get something to block it, to kinda like hold the fluid, the brake fluid. So, I just get this, like that. And that'll be enough to uh, take it off. Now, this is gonna, this is gonna stop the brake fluid, kind of like stop it a little bit. Now we can take this off and uh, put the other one on. All right, and you wanna have a bucket so the brake fluid will drain. So this is our new part. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to install this. Make sure it's the same. Mm. So everything's the same. This is brand new. Oh wow, uh, okay, so this one has, the, all right, so we're just gonna, like I said, we're gonna, this is a size 14 socket. So get you a size 14 socket. And it has two washers. Make sure you don't lose them, because if not, you'll start leaking a lot of, a lot of fluid. So, like, I'm talking about, yeah, these washers right here. There's two of them. All right, so when you put the screw back on, you take, you know, you take the old one off, and then you get, you got two washers like this, and then your screw. So make sure you put one like this, and it's gonna go on top, and then the other one's gonna go at the bottom like this, and then go ahead and screw it back on. ratchet oh. all right so the one we took off is a uh, size 14 but uh, the new one is a uh, different size all right and now we're going to take the cap the caliper bracket off I forgot to take that off so let's do it all right, so in order to take the caliper off, we're gonna take, we gotta take these two bolts off right here. So now, and you need a size 17 wrench. So just point like this, and then with a hammer, like that, you break the tension. All right, and 
Once you break the tension, you should be able to get it off with your hands. And you're gonna need these same bolts to uh, to uh, put it back on because uh, the new one doesn't have it. Secure your. Uh, all right, so now, Make sure you're able to see where your bolts go in. All right, so you cut once you have them in there, uh, you can pretty much get a ratchet and. take this uh caliper off the new one uh and i believe it's size 12 yes so do it like this because we gotta put the brake pads in there and um so Do it because uh, you need to tighten up the. All right, and you also have to take the bracket off so you get these and tighten them up with the hammer. So you need at least a quarter of a turn on both of them. All right, so we know these are secure now. Um, now get your old brake pads and put those on. All right, so I'm gonna put the pads back on. And remember to put a grease. Oh, we need the new hardware too. Huh. Right. Don't forget your hardware, man. So these, they go on like this. And pretty much just snap, up, snap back on. Same thing up here. That back on. All right, now we can put the brake pads and put some grease in there too. Hardware. Okay. Mm, same thing on the other side. Put your grease and then the pad. Caliper back. Oh, uh, make, sure you, make sure you put some grease in these two right here. They they're supposed to put some, but man, they don't do enough of it. So make sure you you. Okay. Or oh, it just dries out after time. Uh, so, all right, now we're ready to go. And you gotta bleed these, and I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. Um, All right. 
right, so that's how you put the caliper in there. Now we can go ahead and take these off. So your, uh, your brake fluid's flowing in here. And uh, now we have to bleed it. But uh, we're doing both of them from the front side. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, it's the same process over here. Get you a, a, rat, a ratchet, 12, 12 millimeters. Break the tension. We're going to go ahead and take the bracket off. Real simple, man. Real simple job. Um, I'll show you how to uh, bleed them. That's probably like the hardest thing next to it. Once you break the tension, man, this should be able to come off by hand. All right, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this one a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and put the new caliper in there. And, uh, before we actually connect the brake line. Maybe this is, this might be a little bit easier if we do it like this way. So. Oh, can you see the Remember to put something to stop your brake line from flowing. All right. Um, there's plastic ones uh, that you're supposed to use, man. And but these, their brake lines, they're super thick. You know, they're not gonna rip into that. It's not in that, like you gotta leave them on there. It's just enough to close it down like this. All right. Remember, to have your bucket ready. So drip. So we're just gonna go ahead and. Uh, you know, put the brake, switch this line to here, real simple, just like the other one. Uh, all right. So, you break the tension first. This one seems to be pretty hard. All right, so whenever it's hard like that, all right, if the tension is super hard, just get you a ratchet and get you a hammer and might be a little hard but you can do it there we go so we should be able to just take it off now Remember your new ones, you put one in like this, and then this goes on top, and you put the other one at the bottom on the other side. Oh, shit. I got break the on me. All right, so now, the new bolt is size 12. So, you got to switch sockets.
So now. All right, now we go and take this off. As you see, everything's good. So we got a new bracket, and I just put the brake pads back in there, like we did the other side, and then I'm gonna show you how to bleed them. All right, so after you do calipers, you have to bleed them. So I took the first thing you do uh, is take this rubber thing off, and then this is your where you put your brake fluid at. So we're gonna fill that up with. Uh, brake fluid and see you see it's going down that means the calipers are filling up filling up now and you do this until it doesn't go down anymore so so right now so now you need a size size 10 uh, ratchet and you open this up a little bit all right so I don't have anybody to help me so this is the way I have to do it but if you have someone to help you, you don't need this little rubber hose. But what I'm gonna do is uh, connect this rubber hose in there like this. And then I open it. Open it like that. Make sure the hose is uh, it's good in there. See how the fluid is coming out? Okay. Alright. So that's how it's supposed to come out this. But we're gonna open up a little bit and then you push the brake down. You push the brake close down. back to this and close it all right and I just want to point something out whenever you're bleeding you're supposed to start start from the rear tire and then pass on your side then you go to your driver's rear and then you go over here so uh, since we already since we only did the front you know this is why I'm only doing the front all right so now we're gonna go ahead and take the hose off and hey, make sure you have a bucket all right so this side's done now we go to the driver's side and do the same thing we put the hose in there. This. All right, and we're gonna open it up until you start seeing the fluid. Make sure that, make sure this. Uh, okay, so make sure the hose is in there tight and then you open it up. Until the fluid, so you see fluid come out of it. So how, Down, let up, and so no fluid yet. All right. Oh, make sure you have fluid on top. So that's another thing too. All right. Okay. So we we'll go ahead.
So he's got some fluid in here yet. Okay, there we go. See that? So we could close it now. Um, we can go ahead and close it now. Okay. Alright, that's it. So that's how you use the calipers and that's how you uh, bleed it. So please like and subscribe.